In November 1997, wanted fugitive Chen Jingxing held the family of South African military attaché McGill Alexander hostage. Quickly responding, the police surrounded the area, resulting in a tense 16-hour standoff. After hours of negotiations, the Alexander's baby was released and retrieved by then police captain Hou Youyi. Fast forward to today. Hou, as the Kuomintang's presidential candidate, is a symbol of resilience and deep grassroots connections. He stands resolute against threats to Taiwan sovereignty and freedom. I've been defending the Republic of China, Taiwan, with my life for decades. What do we want? To unite all Taiwanese, love this land, and dedicate ourselves to the ROC. His journey is remarkable, from law enforcement, where he rose to be the youngest director general of the National Police Agency. He transitioned seamlessly to politics, earning the job of new Taipei City Mayor in 2018. When I entered politics, I believed in finding peace and taking joy in my work. Five years ago, that's how it was. It's the same now. It will remain the same when I run for president. It's all about living and working with peace and contentment. While Ho's accolades are many, the former head of the National Police Agency isn't immune to criticism. He knows the polls and the uncertainties they present. And while his team grapples with the task of sharing unfavorable news, Ho's spirit remains unbroken. When the poll numbers aren't good, I struggle to tell him. Yet, often before I even speak, he points it out. I don't turn a blind eye to everything. That's not who I am. My philosophy is simple: be prepared to face challenges and have the courage to take responsibility. This resilience is essential, especially given the challenges his party faces. The KMT's pro-China image, combined with an older membership demographic, hasn't done it any favors in courting young voters. But change is on the horizon. A glimpse into Ho's campaign operations reveals a vibrant mix of youth, actively shaping everything from policy to merchandise. For Ho, it's not just about hard work, but also about understanding and connecting with the public. He's always been careful. He waits to be certain before speaking out. I don't think it's a matter of whether he can memorize something. He's never used a teleprompter. On his first trip to Japan, his advisor handed him a lengthy document to review before landing. Even though he was very ill. He spent the entire three-hour flight studying the briefing closely. As election day nears, rumors circulate about a possible alliance between the KMT and the Taiwan People's Party. The outcome remains uncertain, but one thing is clear: despite the naysayers, Ho remains unyielding, pouring his heart and soul into the campaign. I don't want to expend energy trying to stop those making negative comments, especially those with ill intent. I'll keep my focus on fulfilling my promises and my duties. I won't hesitate because hesitation isn't in my nature. I will harness all energies. Now that I've been chosen as a presidential candidate, I'll bring together all aspects and move forward step by step. The finish line is in sight, and Ho is giving it his all. Liu Jiaying, Ke Shengsheng, Vivian Xiao, TVBS World Taiwan.